What's up guys, so last time I made a private server, it was about the Aurora private server, it was about two weeks ago, and today I was showing you guys the EZFN server, which is still working as of season 5 of Fortnite. So before I show you guys that, make sure I subscribe, as our new sub goal is 35,000 subscribers, and if we get there, we'll be doing another battle pass giveaway for season 5. So let's try to hit that before season 5 ends. And make sure you guys like the video as well, let's try to hit a like goal of 200 likes on this video. And without further ado, let's get right into the video. So the first thing I want to do to get this private server is of course go to easyfn.dev and this will only work on PC and no other platforms. And you also have to have Fortnite installed, but you don't have to have like a gaming PC for this. It'll work on any computer that has enough storage to install Fortnite, as all you're displaying is the lobby. So as long as your computer can run the lobby of Fortnite, it should be just fine. So the second step is you want to click on the private server button up here. And it's just going to ask you to log in to their website. And I already have an account, so I'm just going to be logging in and blurring this part out. And just do the caption and all that stuff. And you will be in. Now, once you've logged in, it will show this exact thing over here. So, you're going to want to change any of these things that you want to change. So, if you want the account level to be something, then you can just change the account level right there. You can change the avatar status, like what it says when you're inside the lobby. And you can also change the amount of V-Bucks that you have when you get into the game. And you also change the amount of gold bars as, as well. And you'll have a couple of different things down here as well. And for gifting, it's going to say, do not click on these as it will kind of mess up the game. And it'll kind of lag you out sometimes. And it'll also take forever because you have to accept every single gift that they give you. So I would just leave the changes at default and get into the game. So you just want to click on EZFN Launcher up here, and that will download the EZFN Launcher. And then you just want to open up a folder and extract it. And then just double click on that, and it should only have one thing right here. So you're just going to double click on that, and it will open up the launcher. So now it's going to ask you for your launcher token. So you're just going to go back over here, and right over here next to launcher token, it should tell you your launcher token. So you just want to copy that, you just highlight it and copy it. Then go back in here and you just want to paste it in. So once you've done that, you can just click on login. And there you go, we are already in. And I'm going to select custom Fortnite path because I do not have mine downloaded in the same place that most people have theirs downloaded. And make sure you have the correct path or it will not work. And then after that, you just want to click on start Fortnite. And this will launch up the Fortnite game. So as you guys can see, we just got in and it should say easyfn.dev private server. If it does not say that, then something went wrong and you should immediately close out of Fortnite and try it again. So now that we are in, you can just press close and you'll have your actual Fortnite name up here and you'll have a bunch of other stuff as well. And this is not your actual Fortnite name. It'll just be, since I logged into EZFN and had this as my username, it showed up. But this will just be whatever you put in as your username. So now you can see you have everything in the battle pass and the entire battle pass should be unlocked. And you can also check out some other stuff. So there's also a few other places like you can just check out like every single thing in here. But the most important thing is the locker. And also one more thing, do not click on the item shop as there is currently a bug that will crash your game if you click on it. So just don't click on that if you don't want your game to crash. So you can see that there's a bunch of skins in here. And this should be every single skin in the game, plus a few unreleased skins, such as the henchman skins and a few other things that are similar to that. You also get all of the default skins and all of the OG default skins from before Season 10. And you have all of the other OG skins in the game. And I'll show you guys some of the unreleased skins, as those are pretty interesting. So you'll notice something's unreleased or like a fan made skin if you see that there's a placeholder. And you can just see we have the crack shot. I don't know why that one's a placeholder. And we got Jonesy. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Or they just haven't loaded in yet. So we have that. I'm not sure exactly what these are, but they seem to be um, the Marauders. And we also have Tactile Fisherman. These could be new skins that are coming out in the future as well. So yes, these are all henchmen over here. And then of course we have the Midas as well. And this is from the Halloween Fortnite event. 
so yeah all these are really cool and you can check them all out when you open up the server and there's a bunch of other stuff that you can check out as well so starting from the top we have all of these skins the special rarity skins that you can get from the item shop and special packs not all of them will appear up here some of them will appear right below all of these legendary skins so as you guys can see they're right over here here's all the dc skins we have the dark series and we have the frost frost skins we have these special skins over here the gaming legends so of course we have psycho bandit from borderlands we have halo and we have kratos from other game and we have all the icon series as well and all of the marvel series that came out last season as well so these are all really interesting but you also can check out all the epic skins and every single skin in the entire game if you want you can check out some of the og skins too so of course everybody knows probably the most og skin in the game we have renegade raider with both the styles and you can just equip and you'll see that the Renegade Raiders in the lobby. And I think they fixed a bug where you had to have a pickaxe before to get ran the glider to get into the lobby, but they have fixed that, so that's really good. And we can also choose some backpacks as well. So again, we have all the backpacks. These ones will always appear at the top. And then if you scroll down, you'll see that over here, we see all the other DC and Marvel skins and all of that stuff. So you can just choose whatever you want. And then for the pickaxe, you can also choose any skin that you want, or any pickaxe that you want. So we can just choose the Travis Scott pickaxe. And then of course gliders, we also have those, but you will not be seeing these gliders as you cannot go into the game. You can't like ready up or anything and get to the game. So that will not work. So there's a few other cool things that you actually do with this server. So the other cool things that you can do is you can have different built-in emotes that you can play on any of the skins. So let's say you wanted the Venom emote, but you wanted it on the... If you wanted it on the Mandalorian skin, then you can just do this and he'll be doing the built-in Venom emote, which you normally can't do on other skins. And while I'm over here, uh, you can also change the styles. So let's change some of the styles. And there you go, you got the full best scar on Mandalorian. And you can also get the full styles for any skin, including these special superhero skins. So you change this. These are all locked because you don't have all the other um, styles unlocked. I think there's some sort of prerequisite for that, like challenges or something. So you can't get those as of right now. But yeah, you can do all of these. So some other stuff that you can't do though, is for the built-in emotes at least, you cannot do all, any of the built-in emotes from last season because they required challenges to be completed. So you'll see that they're unlocked, that they're completely locked because you don't have the awakening challenges at all. But anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, make sure to leave a like again if you have not already and subscribe to our channel to help us out. And see you guys in another one.